Okay, Alan, question one is, what was your life like before the war? Well, I can only remember since the age of five. You know, I lived in a town. They had about 2,000, uh, close to 2,000 Jewish people in a the town. And I was going to a Hebrew school as all the Jewish boys my age went. We had another school, a public school, where my, my three sisters went. And I had a normal childhood, I call, until the war broke out especially the in 1939 when the war broke out the uh, part of uh, Poland was occupied by the German army the other part was occupied where I because I lived in eastern Poland close to the Russian border it was occupied by the Russian army the Russians came in and uh, all the, the schools we, we went to school instead of the Hebrew school they made it a Russian Jewish school you know and uh, life wasn't that easy because my father was a businessman prior to the war and then the russians uh, didn't believe in uh, in uh, in everybody having their own business so mm -hmm. my russians my father worked for the russians and uh, and i went back to school which was in yiddish the and and russian they were teaching us and mm -hmm. before you turned around you know the the germans attacked uh, russia and in 1941, uh, uh, June 22nd, mm -hmm. the uh, Russians uh, were chased out and the German army occupied my hometown. And after six weeks or whatever, it was August 1st, they made all the Jewish men from 16 to 60 to report in the main square, which was opposite my house and I have seen everything. And they <laughs> went with the help of the Polish police what one thing I have to mention that the Polish young guys or women that were friends with my my sisters because they went to public school, they all mm -hmm. volunteered, you know, and joined the Nazis. And with the help of them, they went and they picked out 220 men, mm -hmm. uh, all the business people and the rabbinical staff and the and the principals from school and the teachers, and they took him about a mile and a half from my house and they shot him and that was oh, about six God. weeks after they were there yeah. after that <coughs> after that you know the jewish people were put in a jewish quarter so part of the town you know was assigned to the jewish people and then they took all the uh, jewish people from the surrounding small towns because it was easier for them to liquidate the jewish people not go from town to town and they made a uh, ghetto where in, in the section where I lived. And uh, it, it was terrible, you know, of course, even I had to work, you know, and, uh, and the people were the Polish. Well, I, I gotta say, mm -hmm. and I must, like, I'm good. sorry to say that, but people that were our friends before the war, they, they volunteered when it came to the Jewish people, they were helped because the Germans didn't know who's Jewish, who's not Jewish, or who did what. But uh, uh, in that last until the end of the year, and uh, till in 1942, of course, you know, in, they surrounded the ghetto again, and they started liquidate uh, people from one town to the other one. They kept us four days uh, locked up in their homes, May, May 8th, and then May 12th, you know, of course, they took out the, about 2,500 people, and. Uh, and while they were chasing everybody out, my uh, mother said to me, you must hide in the attic, you know, and uh, I said, no, I want to go with you. She says, no, hide in the attic, and that's how I survived, by hiding in the attic, you know, and then after that, it's a long story, but I joined the uh, partisans, and, uh, mm -hmm. and that's how I survived the war. Thank you. Um, we have another question yet. What went through your mind as you were fighting for your life as well as for the lives of others. Well, the influence in the rest of my life, I would say, is that it is important, it was important to me to survive. And that's what influenced my life to survive. And it's hard for me to answer that, that question. The only thing I had in my mind is to survive and tell the story of what happened and be a better person than what, what I have seen around me. Alan, how could the 
children of today's time learn from the experiences that you had as a partisan and living through the war? What I expect the kids to learn that we're all equal, we're all children of God, and there's no difference between one religion to another religion. We gotta respect each other and work for a better tomorrow because there's no reason to just to hate a certain people because of their religion. We are better than that. And for the kids to be good children and go to school and listen to their parents, 